Interview and job search strategies that work. I'm excited to tell you about a friend of mine I've known many years. His name is Walter Holmes. Now, um, Walter, I really appreciate you coming on the podcast. I'm very grateful. Um, thank you, first of all. Thank you for the opportunity. So, Walter, I want to ask you, um, your, in your current role, like, how did you start out in your current role? Uh, if you can tell me about that. Yeah, it was, it was actually, this, my current role right now, I actually just started a week and a half ago. Um, and what actually led me to it is my time in service. Um, from the time I left out of college, at Bethel College initially, um, then I joined the Army, um, where I got to have you as a, as a soldier at one point. Um, and basically the same rules and regulations and stuff that I had laid out as a, as a leader in the military, um, trying to guide people, young soldiers, into the dr proper directions to, to succeed in life by, by managing themselves, by looking forward, by getting everything they can out of every situation. I basically applied to myself, and I spent the last 15 years since I got out as well um, really practicing in my own trade, um, trying to work, continue working within the IT field. I've gone from the radio side to data to servers to virtualization and to the pretty much the gamut of everything. And based off of work performance and people I knew and, and, and how I worked, um, I ended up getting this opportunity that I couldn't pass up recently to work for with a company pivot three, which has been a great company. Um, I'm at the beginning stages of it. I'm looking forward to the challenges that are, it may present with travel and, and, in, uh, selling software at different locations and hardware, uh, but it's but it's all based off of the, the same backbone that I've always preached: is um, being the best you can and demonstrating everything that you can, so that people can um, gain the most from it. Well, wow, sounds like, sounds like you you know a lot of stuff, man. That's well, that's a lot. That's a lot to, uh, to learn. Yeah. <laughs> how did you uh, How did you come to know all that? Were you self taught, or what did you um, did you uh, did you go to class or a course for that, or how did you learn all these technologies? Well, initially, um, obviously, it was the military um, initial, initial portion of it, um, both as a as a radio guy and then as a data analyst for the military. That really opened the door initially. Um, then when I, once I got out as a contractor, a lot of it was on the job training. Um, then I started picking up, um, which I, even back 15, 20 years ago, I was pushing certifications. I never got them, got them myself. Um, I had my college degree, but I never really focused on that. I just focused more on what I did. Um, but for other people nowadays, I would say, get your certifications. Those are huge as far as getting to where you can, you'll have more um, opportunities. But then um, the ones that actually really opened my door was about 2014 um, Security Plus. That certification alone just everything opened up several doors. And then in 2019, I actually got Server Plus, and I'm getting ready to get Cloud Plus next month. Um, but yeah, it's it, most of it is, is self training, um, late nights, or working on the day. If I come across an issue, um, I would spend time. Re recreating it in a virtual environment and then figuring out what the solution is and then being able to come there the next day and actually apply it. And by doing those type of things constantly, uh, people start noticing and seeing that uh, I wasn't the typical person who would just sit back and look at a problem and wait for somebody else to come fix it. And that's something that is hard to come by in today's society, especially in the IT world. And if you can learn that and you can believe that, people will come, people will be searching for you to pick up. So you, you hit something on there. Um, security plus, can you, can you talk about that a little bit? What, how, what does it take to get the security plus and, and how that's opened your doors for your career? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, security plus, it's a, it's not a entry level certification by far. Um, if, if you have no IT experience whatsoever, I'd, I'd recommend starting off with like IT fundamentals, or the CompTIA A plus or net plus, which is hardware networking and IT fundamentals is really teaching you a generalization of everything in IT to give you an idea of what you want to do. But the security plus portion, it, um, depending on how hard or how much experience you have, um, starts focusing more on a lot of the, the network security within the computer systems, 
um, how to secure the software, firewalls. Um, you go through a whole bunch of scenarios when you're doing the training or the, the certification test for that. But basically, I mean, it really lets someone know that you really know what you're talking about as far as the computer systems go, um, mobile systems, you name it. Um, anything that's basically digital age, you're going to really go over with the certification. Um, but what, what makes people happy, excited about though is it really lets someone know that you know what you your job um, that they can they can put you in pretty much anywhere and you're going to be able to work through those situations wow well so I, I guess I'll ask this anyway sounds like you talked about it but I'll ask anyway what excites you most about um, your profession the choosing profession you're in now versus something else you've done in the past um, I guess the, the, the especially the route that I'm going right now it's the the concept of every day is going to be something different um, even though it's it's a hardware software install when you get to customer sites you never know what you're going to come up could be faced with um, you don't know what the pre-existing architecture was to um, if there was problems with it existing already or if you're going to create a whole new issue of problems so it's that puzzle making being able to analyze situations that really excites me um, and, and and also being going to this new position not knowing how everything works yet, that scares me. But that that's part of me that's scared. I'm turning into excitement because now I'm going to get a chance to learn a whole bunch of new stuff that I have, I've dabbled in, but now I'm going to have this opportunity to actually get my hands in it to just finish basically developing who I am supposed to be as, as a IT technician. And I think it's going to put me in a position to either stay this route down the road uh, or one day move into management. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I, I ask all my guests that I, they come on the podcast and thank you for past guests who come on the podcast. Very grateful for that. I'll ask this question. Um, you know, based on your, your, your advice, um, based on your experience, or rather, um, the years of experience you have, the knowledge you have, the willingness to uh, just figure it out and make it happen. What what advice would you give um, your relative, your cousin, or someone who's really like, okay, I need this advice and is going to take it, who who works at Walmart? Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're trying to get into the job, uh, a field you're in, the IT field, or they work at Walmart, and they're making, you know, nine bucks an hour or whatever, and they're like, I want to get into your field, and what advice would you give give them? The, the biggest portion of advice I can give is, one, find what your passion is within the the IT field. If you don't know exactly what direction you want to go into, um, start off with like that IT fundamentals class to get a taste of everything. And once you find that niche that you enjoy, grab onto it, learn everything that you can, not only within the books, but um, gravitate towards the, your peers within the, the, the profession who can help guide you and direct you. Look for those mentors. Mentors are extremely important. Um, over the last couple of years, I mean, not only did I do this IT side, but I actually decided to go into seminary area. <laughs> and so um, I'm, I finished that um, this last August, and um, I'm in my internship right now. But the funny thing is, though, it helped, it helped me focus even more. And focus is crucial for an IT field. Um, being able to sit back and objectively analyze a situation and to be able to, to be able to see not only see the end goal of what should happen, but be able to see what issues are gonna, you're going to be confronted with as most possible, as much as possible is is crucial. And be able to think outside that box. Don't think just inside it, but think outside the box. A lot of times, will help make you successful to where you can take part and accept any job that you want because you have the confidence that you've built in through knowledge and through surrounding yourself with the right people to help you become successful. Wow. That's nice. That's great advice. I could probably take some of that myself. Actually, it's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you have actually Gary. I mean, uh, from, from when I, when you were a soldier of mine to now, I mean, I, I watch, I look on your LinkedIn all the time and say, man, this guy's done a lot. Look at him. He's, he was listening to the things I even said. And I, why didn't I listen to my own words half time? <laughs> 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 so Walter, I, you know, really had a great time talking with you. I want to ask you, uh, how can people contact you? How can they, how can they reach you? You have a LinkedIn or 
um, a Twitter, something like that, where people can reach out a website? Yeah, so it's LinkedIn. Um, I think it was Walter.Holmes at LinkedIn.com. Um, you should be able to find me or it's W. Holmes. Um, I'm in there. I'm, I'm an active member within there. Um, and if you want, you can always email me too at Walter.Holmes at Outlook.com. And I will answer any question that comes my way. I mean, it's the best of my ability. Um, but I will I'll provide solid guidance if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I'll even, even want to mentor people. I, I got to know, what's this IT fundamentals? What, what is that exactly? Is that it's, actually, it's actually a new CompTIA certification um, that came out, I believe it was this year, maybe last year at the, at the latest. Um, and it's a baseline um, CompTIA certification that just shows an employer – that you have an understanding of the general IT field. Um, it breaks down a lot of different things. And I haven't dug into as, mu as much. Um, I'm actually getting my wife to study for it right now. And because um, she wants to get into the computer field as well. And then from there, we're going to go through A plus and M plus and then her get her security plus as well. Wow. That's nice. Well, Walter, I really appreciate you coming on the podcast. Um, you know, thanks a lot. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. No problem. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.